Patients with epiblepharon usually presented with history of red eye, eye rubbing, watery eyes, and in severe cases, corneal opacity. Surgery is required to prevent complications such as corneal ulcers, astigmatism, and amblyopia. We presented a case of a 5-year-old girl with recurrent red eye on both eyes with inward appearance of both eyelids since birth. The patient had undergone correction for the right eye, and as we can see in this picture, the cilia is directed inward, but the lid margin is still in normal position. First, mark the incision site 2 to 4 mm below the inferior lid margin. In this video, we use 3 mm mark. Then, incise the skin and orbicularis muscle using blade number 15. Your incision should look elliptical as this illustration. Next, dissect the tissue and direct your Stephen scissors in 45 degree manner to expose the tarsa plate. This is how your surgical plane of view should look like. Suture the skin from lower end of your incision to lower tarsa border to orbicularis muscle and skin as close as possible to the lid margin to pull it outward at minimum of three sides. The correct suture will automatically pull the lash outward. This video uses 6O Sterile Synthetic Absorbable Monofilament Suture. Additional skin-to-skin -skin suture can be added accordingly. At the end of your surgery, make sure that the lid margin stays in the position but the eyelashes are directed outward. Postoperative care includes antibiotic eye ointment, systemic antibiotic, and systemic analgesic. This picture shows significant difference of the patient before and after the surgery. Note that one week post-surgery, the eyelid is still slightly edematous but the eyelashes are no longer pointing inward. One month post surgery shows stable result. Tarsal fixation for epiblepharon correction is a feasible and useful procedure for ophthalmologists in daily clinical practice. Thank you for watching.